Welcome back to the Spring Boot in the Cloud series. In this video, we will install some softwares in our system, which will help us to build and run a Spring Boot application. So let's get started. Okay, so the first application that we're gonna install is gonna be Java. So we will gonna open a browser and search for JDK. So you will see there's a link over here, it's the Oracle download. You click on that and we're gonna install the Java 17 because Java 17 is the LTS version which is long-term support. Uh, so let's see. We click on the JDK 17 and we're doing it on the Windows machine. So we click on the Windows and then we grab the x64 MSI installer. And it's downloading over here. So when the downloading is done, then we open this file. And then we done it. So we're gonna install it. Next, we're gonna install it in C program files JDK 17. And the installation is done. So we close this one and then to verify this thing, we will open a command prompt. So to open a command prompt, you can just click on the search over here and type CMD and the command prompt will be here. And then to check, we'll just type Java dash dash version and it has shown the version number 17.0.8 so we're good with the JDK version so the next one is actually Apache B Apache Maven which is a, will help us to build the uh, Spring Boot application so let's go to Apache Maven this one and then we click on the download and then we will grab the bin version which is this one but you may win 3.944 bin zip and this is getting downloaded over here it got downloaded so the file was in the desktop i'm going to copy it into a specific location for me i keep all of my softwares into d drive softwares and then i put over here and then i just extract this file here here so it will create a folder here you can say i already have a previous version i, I just downloaded the latest version 3.9.4 so now i'm going to show the path of this one into my environment variable so i copy this part over here and then open the search and go to the search type environment and this is your environment variable click on that drag it here when there's this environment variable button i'll click on that and you say i already have an m2 home defined from a previous version i'll just update this one double click on it and then paste the new location i save it and then this dot m2 underscore home is also a part of my path so if you open the path then you will see i have m2 home slash bin is here so this for the windows is a percentage m2 home underscore home percentage slash bin so this will actually uh, this will point or come on prompt to this bin folder so let's see save it everything is same to be on the safe side i will close this command prompt and open again cmd and then type mvn dash dash version nice so it's 3.9.4 very good so now the next software we need is actually an id so we're gonna use eclipse let's see L -I -P -S -E. So you can go to the Eclipse home 
directory then click on the download and then we're gonna grab get eclipse id 2023.06 this is the latest one we we'll download it on the download button and the download has started over here you can see this is finalizing the download and this is an exe file that's it it's downloaded so now you can double click on this one restart you run it I think I have already run it. So there you go. And close this one. So we're gonna install Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java and Web Developer because this comes with lots of plugin. So we're gonna use the second one. And we're gonna install it somewhere. We're gonna see this is pointing to the JDK folder here, and the installation folder is software eclipse. We're gonna save it here and then click on the install awesome so it got installed so now we're gonna click on the launch button to verify so it's launching on the other screen my equipment will i'll grab it over here so while it is while it is launching please uh, feel free to like and subscribe into our, into our channel because we are gonna upload like a new series every few and a few often and like uh, we're gonna upload like new videos every week so if you want to learn new technologies new uh new coding coding practice or new programming thing then uh, feel free to like and subscribe uh, into our channel thank you so there you go we have the workplaces here so I'm going to create a new workspace. I'm going to call it Skill Fusion Academy and then launch it. So it will blank initially. So it's loading on the other screen. So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna grab it from here so it got launched so we are not gonna need this screen so this is gonna be our pen we don't need this outline so we'll close it and keep it like that and this this is what we'll use after we do our initial setup so let it be like this for now and the last software but not least is a github desktop So GitHub Desktop is another important software which will help us to uh, clone the repository from GitHub and then, and then manage our source code. So this is a very nice uh, uh, GUI based software where if we use this one we don't have to like, uh, uh, like type like git commands. So you can just use the UI to clone, copy and make branch and like push and pull all, all the information from the GitHub. So yeah. I think this is the link. There you go. So download for Windows 64 bit. It's downloading. Nice. Downloading is done. So we're going to click on that. Single click and then run it. There you go. It got installed and open in a new window. So I already have other repositories here. So it's that's why it's showing me the current repository. So I already had the uh, the github desktop but it installed a new version of it so we're gonna actually use this one to clone our repository from github and yeah do other stuff so we'll show this thing so i guess that's it for uh for this for this video in this video we have installed four softwares which is jdk 17 apache maven eclipse and github desktop uh, uh yeah feel free to subscribe into our channel uh, uh, which will actually help you to find us more efficiently and uh, see you on the next video thank you